Last night, I actually set up my tent inside the shelter, which I would never do if there was other people gonna be here at the shelter, because obviously you can see it takes up way too much room, but I was all by myself. So I stayed dry, even though it poured all night long. Well, today should be an interesting day. It's supposed to rain all day long and into the evening as well. So if it's raining really hard, I'm probably not gonna get my phone out very often, but I will still try to show you cool stuff if I come across it. Well, here's the overlook at Sugar Run Mountain. And all we have are clouds and fog. Hey, this is pretty cool. This is a bottle gentane, and these flowers don't actually open. Um, but bees are strong enough to force their way inside to pollinate them. Oh, I've just met a random dog. I'm assuming his owner is around here somewhere. Pretty cute. Oh, well, he's following me now. His feet look kind of red. I wish I could pick him up, but I can't really lift him. Well, the good news is that the doggy found her owners. And the bad news is it's been pouring rain on me for like the last couple hours and it's not just a light rain, it is absolutely pouring. So I made it to uh, Doc Knob Shelter and right now I'm gonna eat my lunch and just try to warm up because I'm absolutely freezing and soaked. Um, and then we'll just see if it lets up and I'll keep going and if not, well, I just might stay here. <laughs> All right, so I took about an hour and a half break there at Doc Knob Shelter just to warm up. I was more chilled than I thought I was. <laughs> so I'm back on the trail now. It's lightened up with the rain a little bit and I have about six miles left to go towards my campsite. And the trail is pretty much just a river. of mushroom. Pretty big. It got really cold up here and windy. Alright you guys, so I made it to camp and I'm just hiding out in my tent away from the cold wind and the rain. Um, and today was kind of a tough one. I kept thinking all day long that I should much rather be sitting on the couch with a hot bowl of soup, watching some football, um, instead of being out hiking in the rain. But um, I still made over 15 miles today, which was pretty good, I think, despite the weather. And you know, today still had some highlights. I got to walk about a mile with a puppy and there were also no spider webs today. So everything has a silver lining, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna turn in early tonight and just eat and stay warm and I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, good morning, it's day four. This is where I camped last night and it is Windy, it is freezing out this morning. I'm so glad that I remembered to pack gloves. All right, well, today's plan is about another 15 and a half miles or so. A really big downhill into Parisburg and then a big uphill on the other side. But it looks to be like a gorgeous day for hiking. And this is the view from Angel's Rest. That is so gorgeous and my camera just does not do it justice. So yesterday I was just praying that the rain and the clouds would go away by this morning so that I would be able to show you guys this place and be able to see it. And God answered my prayers. Well, I've made it down the big hill to Parisburg and I really thought that hill was gonna be much steeper and worse on my knees, but it really wasn't that bad.
So I just made it over the first thousand foot climb, which was over Hemlock Ridge, which ironically did not have any hemlocks on it. Now I'm just having a lunch break and drying out some of my gear that I had to put away wet this morning. Um, and then we will tackle the second thousand foot climb up Peters Mountain. Today is kind of a big day, passing my personal 500 mile mark. And don't worry, I'm not gonna sing the walking 500 miles song to you, nobody wants to hear that, but just know that I'm singing it in my head. Made it to the top of Peter's Mountain. Over there is Virginia, and over there is West Virginia, and for the rest of the today and into tomorrow, I'm going to be walking on the state line. So I've made it to Sims Gap Meadow, and there's a lot of other people here tonight, so I'm not going to do too much filming, but I have just the most amazing view 